Benjamin Netanyahu has been a thorn in the side of efforts to build a two-state solution ever since he entered Israeli politics about three decades ago. So in some ways, today's announcement shouldn't come as a surprise. But his clear rejection of a future Palestinian state will undoubtedly send shockwaves throughout the Middle East. In a nationally televised address, Mr Netanyahu said Israel needed control of all territory west of Jordan, which implies both the West Bank and Gaza, which is categorically Palestinian land. He added, the Prime Minister needs to be capable of saying no to our friends, uh, referring there to the United States, who since October 7 have reinforced their message of the urgent need for a long-lasting peace with the Palestinians. In fact, it's been a well-worn refrain of international leaders for years, including from Australia, that there needs to be two states, one as Israel and one as Palestine. But Israel has, for years now, shown no real interest in supporting the creation of a Palestinian state. Its brutal military occupation of the West Bank and its blockade of Gaza, as well as its internationally illegal settlements, have made a sovereign Palestine nearly impossible to imagine. Now, Mr Netanyahu's words today will not only alienate Israel's regional neighbours, but will also likely be a blow to its relationship with the United States, its major ally, Benjamin Netanyahu says he's informed Washington of his government's decision. In any future agreement, settlement or no settlement, Israel needs security control over all territory west of the Jordan. I tell this truth to our American friends, and I also stopped the attempt to impose a reality on us that would harm Israel's security. Across the Middle East, this announcement could also slam the brakes on efforts for Israel to normalise diplomatic relations with some of its Arab neighbours. Talks had been underway before October 7, for example, with Saudi Arabia. Uh, even as recent as this week, Saudi leaders were saying they were open to normalising relations if Israel committed to steps towards a Palestinian state. But with Benjamin Netanyahu in power, that seems now all but off the table. But far beyond anything, the Israeli Prime Minister's announcement will be a blow to Palestinians who for generations have dreamed of self-determination, of living their lives free of Israeli control and occupation.